What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. It's Saturday. I'm getting ready to head to Mocan and go pick up my trailer, hang out with Danny, hang out with the crew that's showing up from Grass Assassins, man. Testing out some new mowers and stuff. So let go. Definitely gonna be a super rainy day, but we're still gonna have some fun. That's all that matters. I had to stop and get gas. I didn't even look at my gas. I had not very much at all, so getting gas. Then we're heading on our way, I guess. So just pulled up to Mocan Power Equipment, Spring Hill, Kansas. It's super windy. Sorry if there's a lot of wind noise, but here she is, guys. Ah! So freaking excited. I'm just gonna wait for Rob to get here. I'm gonna let him talk about it, because he used to sell a lot of trailers, so he can give me a little more in-depth and a little more insight on what's going on with this trailer, but I'm super excited. The bigger D-rings on the inside, track system, the assisted gate, the uh, assisted box, step-ups, the wheels look sick, guys. I'm just, man, I'm so excited. So what's going on, Rob? Not much, brother. What's what do happening? you think, dude? I'm telling you, man, this thing is the bomb for I the trailer. I think it's sexy, dude. It's, it's more than sexy. It's a work <laughs> of art. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Let's go ahead, dude. Let's go ahead and tell everybody what you think. Tell everybody all the stuff about it. Well, so there's a few things about this trailer that make it a little bit different than than everybody else's trailer. One being, you have the wrap pipe all the way around it, um, on all three sides, not all the way around, but all three sides. Um, not a lot of trailer manufacturers do that in their in their premium or in their you know premium trailers. The other one is having the steel sides, two foot sides on that. Um, man, you're going to be able to haul mulch, haul all kinds of stuff, and keep it from flying out of the trailer. Um, some other things that make this trailer a heavy duty trailer is you're going to have a wrap tongue. Your tongue starts at the front and it goes all the way back down to your fender. So what that does is that adds strength and durability to that trailer. So the more load you put on it, you're not going to get any bow and any flex up here on this tongue. The next thing we do with these trailers is you got LED light packaging all the way around. Plus you've got the fender or the step to get up in this. You don't have to climb up the fender and everything else. There's a way to get in this trailer. Um, the other really cool feature on this one, we set you up with Easy Track. So you can, of course, you know Easy Track, so you can strap your stuff down a lot easier. D rings all the way around it. Um, the other thing, really cool feature, you are the second one, you're actually the only one. Only one on the road using it. Only one on the road right now using this, this gate design. So, what we've done is we've put this slot in here which makes the, 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 the gate hinge, so that way you don't have any bow and flex, so that way you're not wearing your pins out faster. And it makes it 10 times easier to pick up. This gate, this gate can load a 6,000 or a 5, sorry, 4,000 pound tractor um, without flexing any of the steel. And that was a big problem with my utility trailer because they are way under designed. Yes. Extremely under designed. You will not bend this gate. The other really cool thing is one finger, man, to pick that gate up. One finger, guys. The other really cool thing is we've got the J hooks to lock down the trailer. There is no way, there's no way that that trailer is going to come or that gate's going to come undone and go flop down on you going down the road. The other really cool feature about ours, if you're running this trailer empty and you don't want that big old mesh wind sail up. Oh, that is awesome. Flat. I didn't even know it so, did that. Yep, so you can fold it down flat. The other cool thing is, if you, you know, you're not hauling a full trailer, fold it down. That way you're not dragging that wind behind you. That's awesome. So. 
treated floor, grade one lumber, grade A lumber, that doesn't have the any of the uh, imperfections, less knots, means less cracking. You got a heck of a trailer, man. Oh yeah, I like it. You're gonna love it. Show everybody these wheels. And these axles are what, 3,000, 3,500? 3,500. Got the upgraded wheel package. Doolittle kind of specially built this for us. Um, this is kind of a special thing. We've got six of them on order. They're coming in real soon. Um, he, he promised me a month lead time on them. So, and then there's the other thing we upgraded for you is the uh, utility box up front. Check this out. Lockable. The other thing that's really nice about our boxes are the handles are on the side. They're not on the top. So what that does is if it rains, snow, ice, your handle's not going to get froze up, but look at this. Boom. That is so cool. That is awesome, huh? It's a sealed box, too, so you're not going to get any water in there. Put all your chains, all your stuff, lockable. Got the keys in there. Brake axles. So the other cool feature, Andy, is we've got gusseted fenders on the front and the back. So if you have a tire blowout, it's not going to damage your, your, your uh, fender. Um, the other thing, speaking of blowouts, is we put the upgraded wheels and the upgraded tires on there. The tires that we actually put on our, our cargo trailers for a little bit heavier weight on the on the tandem. So, uh, two of the, the other main features that we need to talk about on the trailer. Another cool feature that we do at Doolittle is we run all of our wiring down this black channel. It's in it's a conduit, is what it is. This black channel, so none of your electrical wiring is exposed. None of it. The other really cool thing is as it's running down the uh, trailer, it comes into the back bumper of this. It's a four inch solid or square tube bumper. It runs inside of there so none of your wiring is exposed to the elements. Um, and you can see the LED package lighting on the back. None of that wiring is, is outside, of the, outside of the trailer. It's all inside. Very easy to work on too so if you if the only two places that we could have wire damage really is up at the front and that's that's what plugs into your truck so so you are the only one in kansas city that has this there you're all the one in the country that has this trailer man so and that's what it's all about guys you can always go to any dealer you want to okay you can go much. any trailer you want to show up on the showroom floor you see the lot and you're like um uh, i guess i'll take that one because that's what you guys have no go in there and go you know what i want this i want this i want this They'll get something built for you guys. Build it. And that's what it's about. Make it your own, man. Make it your own. That's what we do. Super cool, guys. Making it easy. I feel like I'm at the principal's office. <laughs> Here's your card, Andy. You excited about the trailer? Dude, the trailer looks awesome. It's gonna be great, dude. I can't wait, man. Thanks again, buddy. You bet, brother. Cutting clean lawn care. Um, um he kind of, he's, he's kind of weird. Yeah. He, uh, he's kind of a narcissist. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Talks about himself in the third. Fourth, What's going on, guys? And Andy. Person. Here, um, and if you don't know the dude, you better just start learning.